Hey guys and welcome to a brand new Creatism video. So I have been doing quite a bit of cast videos lately, but for some reason last night I was like, I really want to dabble in my Sims 4 Alpha game because I have a separate folder for everything that I have that's Alpha and I haven't really touched it in a while and I haven't made an Alpha Sim in a good minute either. And so I was like, you know what, let me just go in there. I did go ahead and download like a few items of Alpha custom content because I'll be honest, I still have the hardest time finding a spot that's good for Alpha CC. I did look it up on Tumblr and I saw some creators that I've never seen before and some of their items are really good, which I might actually start using because since I'm kind of like a Maxis Mix Simmer, um, I want to be able to use some of the items that are like considered alpha but they look good enough where it's not like too realistic if that makes sense so I definitely will be looking into those creators a bit more there was one that I saw I honestly can't remember their name I'll probably have it linked in the description because I do end up using the pair of pants that I saw so they're these like really baggy jeans and they have like hearts at the bottom and I saw them and I was like oh my god I need to use this when I was initially making this sim and I was making her first outfit because she ends up having two because I really was like I need to use these pants and so in the first outfit she doesn't have them and then I was like I need to make this work somehow so I was like okay I gotta give this to her in her second outfit and I just was so in love with the pants I needed to give them to her one way or another and then before I launched my game I also had to check out another CC creator by the name of wing sims I love their hair so much because they look so realistic and I'm just obsessed and so thankfully they had quite a bit of new hairs I didn't download all of them but I saw this one and I was like I need to have it and basically I'd say this cast was surrounded around this hair I mean I didn't initially put it on and then do the cast but like I had this hair in mind the entire time while making this sim. I believe I've also used their hairs in my Sims 3 Lepacy series, specifically Gen 1. My sim Ludovica wore one of their hairs and it actually looks really good on Sims 3 as well. I, I believe it was a converted hair. I'm not entirely sure if they also make hairs for Sims 3, but I know for a fact that they make Sims 4 hairs. But yeah, I had a lot of fun making her. I think sometimes stepping out of your comfort zone is kind of nice and like being able to play around with other custom content that I don't usually play with. Now I don't have like a huge array of Alpha CC as you guys can probably tell from my catalog here. I mean, I wish I did, but again, I have a hard time hunting it down and it's not something I'm like, oh, I need to look for this, but there definitely is some stuff that I think I wanna bring back to my original, like my main game, like I mentioned earlier, because honestly, some of the stuff is like really good. And like, I like mixing and matching. I think I want to delve into having more alpha-like custom content in my game. I don't know about necessarily hairs, although hairs are also very stunning, but like preferably I'm still very much a Maxis person when it comes to hair, but I can definitely appreciate alpha custom content. Like I know there's a lot of people out there who definitely stand by alpha CC. I love both. I've pretty much made this known in other alpha videos or whatever it was. I feel like a lot of people started playing Sims 4 with Alpha CC because I think that's like all we really knew at the time. Like I don't think people were like, oh, like Maxis Match and Alpha CC. But I was introduced to Maxis Match in 2017 by somebody. And I wonder if I would have even known about it then if it wasn't for that person. I mean, I'm sure over time I probably would have realized that there's like this other type of custom content. But I think that's what's cool about it is like there's so much variety. Like if you want to be Alpha one day, you can. If you want to be Maxis, you can. You want to mix them by all means. Because I feel like there's like three types of CC users, I would say. It's like the people who are strictly alpha, Maxis, or, you know, the ones that are in the middle like me, Maxis Mix. I mean, I still feel like I go towards Maxis, but like, you know, I'm not... I'm not gonna shy away, like, especially like contacts. Oh my God, realistic contacts look so good. And then also like nice, like realistic kind of looking skin tones. Maybe not too realistic, but also like I'm still thinking about moving my skins folder from this game to my main one because sometimes I wanna have my Sims face look a little bit more realistic. I think I'm just like all over the place. I feel like lately I've been doing a lot of casts, but I feel like I've also been a little bit stuck with Create a Sim. I think I just need to get back into like looking at reference photos of real humans and um, start like doing that because I feel like I've 
gotten back into making the same type of face shape. I feel like the eyes are always like in the general same placement. So yeah, I think sometimes that happens if you like keep making sims over and over again. And that's where like presets really come in handy because that kind of helps with changing things up a little bit. But I still feel like I end up placing everything in the general same area. Another thing is I really want to make an alpha male sim. I did actually try and make one in November of last year and like he didn't turn out really that bad. I just don't have like good male clothing custom content because he was looking really awkward and I don't know I still have the video like I could still upload it at some point. Will I? I don't know. I have so many videos like that where I've recorded them and they've just been sitting in my video folder. So maybe if I like find some cute clothes for him, maybe he will end up being uploaded even if it's a year later because like I mean who's gonna know well I mean those of you who are watching this and it does end up going up then you'll know but other than that like the, the cast background is the same everything's pretty much the same um so I guess it wouldn't really matter but I mean it's still there like I still like it enough that I didn't delete the video you know what I mean so maybe I need to just look for some good male clothes and maybe he'll finally have his moment <laughs> because I feel bad. He's just been sitting there and like, he's at the top of my video folder. So like every time I open that folder, he's right there. And I'm just like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> so yeah. Let me talk about this Sim for a little bit. So um, as soon as I started making her and I gave her her skin, like I felt like I needed to give her some more detail. So adding highlights and then also freckles really added to that. I also gave her dimples and then I realized that my last alpha cast that I did, which I think was like over a year ago at this point, she also had dimples and then I was like, ooh, do I like take them off? But then I was like, I'm not going to go back into cast just to take off her dimples. And I think she looks good with them anyways. And uh, I definitely wanted to incorporate piercings as well because, you know, I finally downloaded a lot of Praline Sims piercings. Uh, I put them in my main game as well because, listen, sometimes like I want my Sims to have piercings. And a lot of the other ones that I have, I think they're also by Praline. They tend to glitch with, I think it's lashes. I wish that CC didn't glitch with each other. I think it's like something to do with meshes. Like that's why my Sims don't really wear rings because a lot of the time it glitches out with the skin detail lashes I believe it is like if I want myself to have glasses rings and lashes like that you just have to pick one or the other that's pretty much it for the creative sim I hope you guys like how she turned out I am obsessed does she look like some of my other sims maybe but I still love her outfits and everything like that so I hope you guys enjoyed if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll talk to you guys in a new video very soon bye guys